Federally assisted housing has long been associated with negative images of generational poverty and misfortune. But for millions of low-income families and individuals, affordable housing means so much more. These are the Voices of Housing. Being able to afford housing just allows me to be able to do so much more as opposed to if all I, all I had to do was focus on was housing, I wouldn't be able to do anything other than because housing is so expensive. Before I came to the Family self sufficiency Program, or the community period, I, from the beginning, I grew up in foster care. I've been pretty much on my own, and experiencing life the way that I had to experience it, very difficult. So, now that I have two children, my goal is to try to give them everything that I didn't have growing up and being in the family self-sufficiency program or in the community period just allows me to be able to give them a life that I didn't have. Um, it also has like goals that I could work towards. Um, being in the program, I've completed my GED. I, um, which is something that I've always wanted. Going to college for social work um, was something that I never thought that I was going to be able to do. It's just really exciting being able to do things that I didn't think that I was ever going to do. So I'm very grateful for the Family self sufficiency program. You don't need no baggage. Once a longtime victim of domestic violence, today, Laura Cohen is an active community leader and full-time IT staff member of the Cuyahoga Metropolitan Housing Authority. I was able to get out of that situation, went to the shelter, domestic violence shelter, a shelter from the storm. Uh, they had a program there that I joined, and all the kids got therapy. All the women there in the shelter were put on Section 8. So I went back to Cleveland, I went back to school, I took my degree in IT. I interned at the Cleveland Housing Network, I landed my job, CMA. I started working with the residents in the computer lab, and then, by the grace of God, CMAJ put me in a different position. I was able to use my story to help other residents at CMAJ. I started off with working with the chief, you know, and obviously with the RPA program, Resident Police Academy. I was their domestic violence instructor. And then I went on um, working with Christy Groves and with the Share Sister Share program and Jackie Griffin with Brother to Brother. And also with now Ms. Davis allowed me to use, you know, my story too to help others at the PAC So this is what I do. I, I give back and I Thank God I have a job, a family. I don't even call it a job. It's a family at CMHA. Arriving in the United States from Vietnam in 1995, So Pham lived with his wife and two children in a one-bedroom apartment for two years before moving into a housing authority of Bowling Green, Kentucky property. Mr. William, which is um, Abraham William, and uh, so he's the uh, executive director of the housing authority of Bowling Green, um, would tell my dad that, why are you keep paying the rent you are having the ability to own a home, okay? And then at last he agreed to Mr. Abraham William that he would go through with the home ownership program. We get the counselor. Um, she really helpful of training us how to man uh, manage our budgets and everything. And then finally um, we were able to own our home, uh, which is 
hundred square foot home, really beautiful old home, but it kind of like renovated and I've added to it. It's, it's that his dream home, there's, there's nothing else that we can say, but thank you that would make an all dream come true. He get his home in the way that he wanted, the feng shui way that he wanted it. So we, we lucky, we lucky to have that. People need to know that the Housing Authority is a community that brings a whole lot of wonderment and gives back. There may be problems there, but the problems are in the minority. The successes are in the, mi in the majority. But the successes, we just go along and continue to live our life. Nobody really pays that much attention, so it needs to be out there because God don't make no junk and neither does the housing authority. All you need is faith to hear the Jesus humming. Don't need no ticket. You just thank the Lord.